Wait, that was too soon. This is the worst one so far. And what's going on, everybody? This is Cody. Max. Zach. And you're listening to the Talk It Off Podcast. Podcast. Welcome back, everybody. Episode 5. That was your best work yet. <laughs> Dude, right off the bat, I chose uh, a song that nobody's going to know. In the comments, they're going to try and guess. They're going to go, what the fuck was that? I really hope that they get it right, or I just can't wait to see all the guesses in between. Oh, yeah. That's the most broad answer I could have said. Yeah. <laughs> I hope some people are right and some people are wrong. Yeah. Hopefully <laughs> hopefully somebody gets it. But, you know, they, they, they probably won't. Episode five. Episode five. Here we are. Dude, we're five away now from double digits. Wow. That's a re- huge accomplishment. I remember when I was a kid, I, that's an age that I was really excited about. Ten? Turning ten, double digits. Did I remember it? it being like, you're double digits now. Like, li- telling other kids, being like, yo, I can, I can go down the slide first. <laughs> I'm I was going to say, was there like, did it live up to expectations? <laughs> Turning 10? Yeah, what was 10 like? Uh, there was a lot of dinosaurs. Like, <laughs> I, like, Around? Yeah. Wait, when were you 10? <laughs> uh, uh, this is when we like find the, out Zach's been time traveling. Yeah. Yeah. It's like the crustacean period. No, uh, <laughs> I just remember because there was like Jurassic Park and like, yeah, like uh, 10 years old, I had like plastic, like plastic dinosaur toys too. Mm-hmm. I think dinosaurs have always been kind of a hit, man. Yeah. Oh, dude. I remember one time when I was in, it was Halloween and I was in a costume contest. My mom would like make all my costumes and I was Bam Bam. Dude. And so uh, it, all it was, was it was a bunch of kids that were like four or five years old on their parents' shoulders and walking around. And since I was Bam Bam, I kept yelling Bam Bam and hitting my dad in the head with oh, the thing. Sure. You love that. I'm, I'm, you know what? You know who did love it? The judges. Because <laughs> I won these. It was like off brand transformers that were all multi. It looked like they got all the pieces from different tr- like factories. And they're like, oh, here's a toy. And it was like an off brand transformer. And I remember that was like one of my favorite toys. I kept it for way too long. Yeah. yeah. But I, to get to your point, dinosaurs were like the shit when you were a kid. Yeah. Oh, definitely. I just remember being like. Being so nervous to turn ten because I felt like there was going to be a lot of responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> like what the you're fuck? so right. I know, and there was, but there was nothing. I mean, you were still just a child. Yeah, like, you could still do whatever. It's it's one of those things where like, did you guys have babysitters at all? I did, uh, kind of, but so I had uh, an older sibling. Yeah, so she was the babysitter a lot. Uh, okay, but she, but a lot of the times it was like you know. Th- a 13 year old watching a 10 year old. That's what I was going to yeah. say. Yeah, like yeah, you yeah. always think they're so much older than you yeah, yeah, and yeah. they were barely older yeah. than you. Yeah. I remember thinking that sixth graders were adults. Yeah. I was like, Oh my God, like yes. they're, they're driving cars probably. Yeah. I don't know. I remember when I was in middle school and I saw high schoolers and I was like, Oh man, they're, they're the, they're like adults. They're full blown. Oh dude. Yeah. I, responsible uh, on my growing up. I lived on a street that had like a middle school at the end of it. That would let out. And I remember when I first moved to that house, I was so afraid of those middle schoolers. And by the time I moved out, I was a full grown adult. And I was <laughs> still terrified of those middle schoolers. <laughs> yeah, I would still like hide behind the bushes while going to my car because I was like, oh, they're going to make fun of me. I'm really nervous. Well, it's because eighth graders are the meanest people on the planet. Yeah. yeah. What is that to John Mulaney? Yeah, he's a 13 year old, is what he says. But I think that's the same grade and yeah, it's yeah. fucking accurate mm-hmm. as hell. Yeah, but, but for real though, they were like, little children by the time that I left because like oh my god yeah I should have moved out a long time ago I'm 28 <laughs> too you got me thinking about like what were your things when you were kids that like I feel like every kid has like an obsession oh no let's do this what Let, uh, sorry uh, <laughs> okay I'm sorry just, for no, no, my no, your idea dumb idea let's do this <laughs> it was similar I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm so sorry you're good okay closer to the mic though favorite birthday <laughs> favorite birthday Favorite birthday? Yeah, what's your favorite birthday you ever had? Ooh. As a kid, like like growing up, what's something cool that you did for your did birthday? Did I ever tell you guys that I had a clown birthday? No. Stop. <laughs> like a birthday with a clown or a, a, a clown-themed birthday? Yeah. Like, Both? Yeah, everybody had to come as a clown? Uh, no, it wasn't like that. No, I was... I must have been like... I don't remember it because I was like four years old, but my parents hired a clown to come to my birthday and he did magic. And I know it sounds like I'm making this up, but I swear to you, I'm it not. It sounds like you're making it up on the spot. No, yeah. no, because it sounds like I'm hesitating. Yeah. And he uh, drove magic. a Mercedes. Yeah. Uh, yes, and he was also a magician. Yeah. So. 
All I remember is that he pulled, uh, remember those old double bubble gum wrappers? Yeah. He would yeah. pull that out from out from behind my ear. And I was so impressed by it that I would make him do it over and over and over and over again. I don't, that's not even my favorite birthday. It's just the weirdest birthday I could think of. And <laughs> yeah. I realized, oh my God, I don't think I've ever told you about this. Really? That, yeah. that, that is something that I've never heard from you. It's the stuff of nightmares. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it, it, if looking back, I saw photos of that clown. I don't remember what the clown looks like. Right. Terrifying clown. Do you have a favorite birthday? You go first. Cause I, here's the thing. I don't really, I have like bits and pieces, but I have a really hard time remembering like stuff that happened more than like 20 minutes ago. <laughs> Well, okay. My childhood is like, I remember like, oh, I like Godzilla. And then it was like, Woo. <laughs> but it's in the ether yeah, now. Who knows? Really? So. I, I, uh, I remember growing up, there was always an opportunity uh, to like do something interesting. Because we grew up in Florida yeah. where there was, there's Disney World, there's Universal Studios. Laser tag. Yeah. There's, <laughs> there's laser tag in a strip mall. Like stuff. <laughs> Somehow that's comparable. Uh, to a kid, though, it really is. I love. To me, it was. Yeah. Laser tag. Oh, it's God, wild yeah. how much a kid can be like, I can go to Disney and see all these amazing things, or I can go to the strip mall and and see shitty laser tag, and it's the same excitement. Oh, yeah. yeah. 100%. I remember one of my favorite times for someone else's birthday was I was on, they got a party bus to go to Qzar, which was a laser oh, tag yeah, place yeah. Okay, out in yeah. Tampa. And I thought I was having the most luxurious experience mm -hmm. of my life. Dude, there's <laughs> a, there was a thing... And I, I still to this day imagine it being as good as Disney. And I don't know if they have one for adults, but they should. It was called Leaps and Bounds. I don't know where I thought you were going. Or Discovery Zone. And it was oh, literally yeah. like. Yes! Yes. It was like a, uh, a this massive like jungle yeah. of stuff. There was a ball pit. Is, yeah. And there was like a zip line. But it was, was all for kids. About. I think yeah. I found no way. one. I think yeah. I found one, by the way. This is. Oh, my God. This <laughs> the Rona. Uh, this was. <laughs> this was. Um, this was. Uh, discovery zone and it was like my eighth birthday and i remember it was like you went to a discovery zone for your birthday yeah yeah That's so awesome. it was like my eighth birthday it had like the robot and shit it was so dope oh man but uh, i remember there was a light that you had to turn to make a left you know when you're a kid and like your mom's talking on the phone and you're like oh let's go get off the fucking it takes takes her forever yeah when you're it's like really 20 minutes but it feels like a fucking lifetime yeah there was like a red light and like an arrow that my mom had to do a u-turn and dude i was losing <laughs> i was like it's taking so goddamn long <laughs> i would say i wasn't cussing it's was my like, birthday it's my birthday all my friends are there and like dude it's a light and like like i expected my mom to like run it like run it do it I, I just remember that as a kid like being so ungrateful and how now i would like slap the shit out oh, of and yeah. that was my favorite birthday yeah, no, but <laughs> Uh, Discovery Zone was awesome because it, it was z my initials backwards, which I loved. It oh was, my uh, god! Uh, ZD so again, was, the things that excite us as kids so yeah, much easier. DZ, and I was like, "This is actually mine." So I, they had to change. They flipped the initials around. Did like, you like take ownership and stuff? Yeah, I tried to. <laughs> I, I could convince seven year olds, and adults yeah. were yeah. nice about it. And they're like, "Like, mm -hmm. yeah, oh, that is yours." Yeah. There is something weird about when you reach a certain age and you realize you can just lie for fun. Like, I feel like. <laughs> every kid has tried it like they've tested something out like that like i remember trying to convince a kid in like fourth grade that i was a vampire i've done something similar <laughs> yeah he, he i think he believed me for yeah. like a minute yeah but yeah i did shit like that too yeah. my my version of that was i and what's funny is again it's like the babysitter syndrome like we're only like probably five years older than the kid you're convincing but i was on uh i was i just played little league and so I was always in this area, I had summer camp in the same area. So like there was this playground, it was like common shared area. And I like to jump from thing to thing. Mm -hmm. There was like, you know, like they have the slides with like a tall, tall roof and stuff. And you could jump, remember the tubes you crawl through? Yeah, oh yeah, so I yeah. like jump from like the roof of the pointed slide onto that. And this kid went, whoa. And as a joke, I went, I'm Spider-Man. <laughs> and he, I'm, like he fully believed it. Yeah. And then I just kind of like, like ran off. <laughs> <laughs> oh dude, that's all you, dude. I went in depth. <laughs> Dude, I like used to pretend that I was Vegeta and shit. And, like, no way. And like fully convince other kids that I was a Saiyan. And that I was, <laughs> no! Yeah, that I was like going to go to planet Vegeta. I was going to build a spaceship. You had a story. Dude, I had a whole, and one of my friends, Preston, we it did, we had the whole thing planned out. We would talk about it all the time to like try and convince other kids that we were Saiyans. That's amazing. Yeah. And we kind of like did it to each other too a did little bit. Did you have bit. any like effects you would plan out on like how to make it look no, like you but could we do would be powers? Like, we'd be like, we can't show you. We're still training. <laughs> it's wild because Preston went Super Saiyan 3. 
<laughs> Dude, I'm not kidding. You guys didn't do stuff like this? A little I bit, know. but I never, I never like co-conspired with other people know, to continue so the lie. No, I used to do that with my friend Preston. I shouldn't be saying his name. I, <laughs> oh, that's not his real name. You no, know, it definitely is. Uh, <laughs> don't look him up. I, I've no, I actually don't know what his last name is. I mean, what it's is. just a name, first yeah. name. I think yeah. he's fine. But uh, I uh, went back to pe- Planet People Vegeta. are Googling Zach's friend <laughs> Preston. No, he went to Planet Vegeta. He's yeah. definitely there. Yeah, he went Super Saiyan 3. Yeah. 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 I, I love that that was said. It's like, actually, we can't show you, but he went Super Saiyan 3. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I, I remember seeing that kid later on in life, like when we were both like full blown adults, just like cross paths one day. And yeah. Just like, we, <laughs> there's no way we both don't remember. Right? <laughs> he has to pretend. You know what I mean? It's like, hey, aren't you that guy? Yeah. There's no way. No, we definitely were like, yo, what's good? And then yeah. being like, Remember when we were? <laughs> Did you bring it up? No, no. Oh. I wanted it to be brought up but so there's bad. There's no like, way that both of us didn't think it. Oh, that's so funny. What a weird thing to bring up. Like, <laughs> hey, do you remember when we were kids? <laughs> <laughs> and I, I tricked you into thinking I was an actual but Super it, it's Saiyan. Like so lighthearted at first, like, yeah. oh my god, I've seen you since we were like, uh, yeah, it's been so many years. Yeah, yeah. It's so cool. Um, do you remember when we were kids? <laughs> And we pretended like we were Dragon Ball Z characters. You don't don't even segue into <laughs> it. Oh man, it's been so long. Do you remember when we were kids? <laughs> Dude, I'd be so scared. I'd yeah, be I'd be pretty nervous. Oh, oh man, that's that, hilarious. That as guy's hell. gonna attack me for sure. Yeah. He's gonna he's a big fan of the podcast as well. <laughs> Him and Machete Guy from Citizen. Yeah. Callback. Callback. Shout out. Oh, man. Love a good callback. <laughs> well, Preston, thanks so much for watching. Thanks. I hope you're having a good time out there. You, know, you do such a good job at look at looking at the camera. I need like, to do that good, more. I never I do just, it. Like, we should start around. doing some like some the office gym. Like, oh yeah, you know, yeah. A, little, a little wink at the camera. What's something? What's something that I uh, could uh, like a sarcastic comment? Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, a little witty thing. <laughs> but we all have to. do <laughs> I winked for some reason just now. Yeah. Went, and oh, it was really? a bad wink. It's hard to wink. Yeah, it's not easy. I saw a really good TikTok recently of this guy um, being all the characters at a party, and uh, one of the people at the party is trying to hit on him, and he does a wink where it's just like a, I can't do it. Yeah. He, his eye just becomes dead. It just goes and back up, and he's like, "Don't do that. Don't wink at me. Are you are you flirting with me? You can just tell me. Are you into me? Just say so." I I realize I'm not good at winking, and I'm wondering if that's what I look like. I don't. I've never. It's so rare that I see someone pull it off. In, in the wild, like, well. I've when I see it, I'm like, Dude, you're fucking slick. Yeah. That's you know, cool. You know what I really like? When people do the... Uh, oh, yeah. Always cool. I'm like, you're the coolest person here. I just do the sound. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's a good sound. <laughs> <laughs> All the time, it's like, yeah. I just, I catch myself going, like, I don't know why. I can't even do that's it. That's the noise for when you're never, getting a horse I've to do never something. worked with horses in my life. How do you I do just, it? Wait, hold on. Listen to mine. Is it no, okay? no, no. Here's mine. Oh, here's mine. better. Mm, Max wins. That's a good one. Now do it twice in a row. Why is, <laughs> why is mine so quiet? This is a podcast you're listening to. I know. Why do people listen? Hey, so we're going to start a Twitter poll to see who did the best. Let us know. In the- <laughs> how, we- do you, how do you spell that? If you were just going to spell it. <laughs> <Wait, hold on. laughs> like, I think it starts with a C. <laughs> wait, 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 wait slow it down. Right. Do it slower. <laughs> how do you spell Everyone, comment right now. We need to know how you spell. <laughs> I made that one gross. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is my son, I Samuel, starts- and my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> it's like spelled with a backward C. Yeah. This is my daughter. <laughs> I was actually not a bad one. It's, I think it's like spelled G-N-I-C-K. G-I? I think it's a C. It's like a silent G. We so should that's stop. Weird. <laughs> <laughs> no, because we're, it's fucking annoying. Oh, yeah. yeah. You think... <laughs> Yeah, it probably is annoying. Mm. Um, That's getting cut. Yeah. <laughs> no, don't cut it. It's great. It's a whole good bit. Oh, my God. It's ASMR, sort of, kind of. Not really, though. Yeah. Um, there were things we wanted to talk about, but we haven't written anything down. We were going to wing everything. Yeah, we're going to yeah. wing everything. I wanted to know. I still want to go back and find out what was, like, your obsession when you were a kid. Oh, yeah. Because, oh, like, yeah. I had things that I was so, – like, for me, Power Rangers was, like, oh, an, yeah. like I was, like, absurdly mm-hmm. – What did, uh, did you – I feel like everyone took this very seriously as a kid. Mm-hmm. Who was your power rank? Which one were you? I have always been boring with these answers. Like really? when people say, what's your favorite Harry Potter character? Were you the Red I Ranger? I say Harry Potter. When oh, people, dude. No wonder you're the lead singer. Say, <laughs> 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 yes. Or like, who's, your, who's The your, main one. Yeah. <laughs> but also, <laughs> right but also I hate when who's people 
people in the like, front. I hate when I hate so much when people are like, <laughs> I just don't listen to me. Okay. So when people, but there's also people that get so prideful. It's like, all right, who's your favorite Harry Potter? Cause like, I like newsman number three. <laughs> yeah. He's my favorite. True, I know true. a lot about his backstory. <laughs> I like the lead character. Yeah. He has a great backstory. He has a, the whole thing is about the guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I, I hear you. I hear you. I, I was, a, I was, but great. I get it. It's, it's lame I feel as like shit. Harry has the least amount of character in the whole, anyway, but <laughs> I don't want to get, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I was, I was Green Ranger and I got so upset because first of all, Dragon Zord, it's a, yes. it's a dinosaur. It's amazing. And then he he swam through a lake of acid or something and became the White Ranger. And I was yeah. so upset. I was like, really? I hate this guy now. So he, here's my transition. You want to know my favorites in order? Yeah. It started as a Red Ranger. Wow. And then the Green Ranger appeared. And I was like, that's my favorite. Mm-hmm. He, this guy's badass. And then he, I remember the feeling I had when I first saw the transformation of him into the White Ranger. And he had a full saber tooth tiger. Yeah, he did. And I was like, this is incredible. Yeah, they gave him everything. He literally, like that guy came out of the show. And if I was the guy playing the Red Ranger, I would have been actually upset. Yeah. Like, yeah. But I was the guy. He probably like said one rude thing. Goes, we're going to replace you. Yeah. <laughs> hey, yeah, he not. was like, hey, the bagels are kind of slow. Oh, you don't like them? <laughs> Little do you know, I'm the writer and caterer for this small budget TV show. Oh, my God. And that was it from there was curtains. It was Green Ranger. And yeah, he got everything. And then that guy became a UFC fighter. It's Mm -hmm. ridiculous. But I had like every toy. Me and my friend, when I I first grew up, I would like go. He was like in a connecting backyard. Mm -hmm. Now jump over there and we like play with all of our toys together. Yeah, Yeah, it was a lot of fun. That was like my thing. I don't I can't remember what's one thing that I was like. Well, I guess Dragon Ball Z. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I was super obsessed with that. Obviously, I tried to convince people. I actually got on to Dragon Ball Z like super young before yeah. it was on Toonami um, and Cartoon Network. You beat the hell out of me to that. Yeah, I was probably like five or six. Really? Wow. Yeah, because uh, one of our friends, it was big in Mexico. Was and, it really? Yeah, one of our friends that we went to school with uh, was uh, had Dragon Ball Z toys and he told us about it and it was like fucking, I loved it from the beginning. Mm. But I never, like you said that you always loved like the the boring main person. I always like side <laughs> things like Vegeta in Dragon Ball Z. Uh, yeah, I really like Goku. <laughs> yeah, I don't, dude. Goku sucks. Yeah, I like the villains. Yeah, yeah. Thought, the villains are more compelling. And that's yeah. kind of one of the best parts about Dragon Ball Z is how awesome their villains are every yeah. time. And they get like progressively stronger. Like the, the next ones, all, like make the like, dwarfs the other one. Yeah, like, they're not the other one could never compare to their power. Yeah, but then it's also definitely rinse and repeat type of show. Yeah, mm-hmm. it is. Once you, I feel like once you get older, like I can't go back and watch them as much anymore. Oh, of course not. Yeah, yeah. Somebody get that boy out. <laughs> because <laughs> uh. that happened. We were older and we tried to watch it, and that was it. Was a whole episode of them just hanging out, and then. Some guy just goes, somebody get that boy a hot dog. Oh, yeah. it's like that so, was a line written yeah. Yeah, for that show. It's like make you laugh. And it's like, Ugh. There's yeah. moments. Like I like the tournaments. I thought those were yeah. cool, but the actual story can be slow. Yeah. yeah. It's way different now, though. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mine was mine was definitely Godzilla. I was like obsessed. Really? Yeah, really? So when I was uh, like really, really young, um, my dad just picked one up from a blockbuster. It was like Godzilla versus Mothra. And I watched it like a thousand times. And I remember uh, when I watched the original Godzilla versus King Kong, uh, King Kong wins. And I was like- Really? Yeah, I was so mad. And I was like laying down dead because we used to like act it out. I used to like build up blocks and pretend I was Godzilla. Oh, hell yes. Stuff. Um, and I remember just being so devastated. So when they announced that they were finally doing Godzilla versus Kong, like it could have been the worst movie in the world and I still would have loved it. And it was just like, I could feel like little six-year-old- Oh, Max that's being great. Like, it's yeah, All the nostalgia so. kicking back in. Yeah, man, you just you just shot a memory right in my brain. I what? <laughs> Funny way to say that. I, I could feel it like immediately got like transported back in my. So remember, like back when like when the back when it happens today, but they were like movies, full blown movies will just be playing. I've known like, a movie yeah. TV. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You ever heard of movies? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's like they use film and stuff. Mm-hmm. Well, Jaws would like play all the time on, on TV and I never wanted to watch it because I was afraid of it. And then mm-hmm. one day I decided with my friend, we're going to watch it. And do you guys remember, they're like bricks made out of cardboard and they're like different colors, like red, yellow, green. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they look like bricks and you can build things with them. Well, I, uh, me and him made a blanket for it and put the blanket over the TV and we made this like area to just like sit down and chill and watch. And we watched all of Jaws. And it ruined me. <laughs> yeah. I loved the blanket fort. Yeah. Love the blanket fort. But dude, Jaws 
totally messed me up about interactions with water. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. In course. general. Did so, it mess with you guys at all? Oh, so, okay. <clears throat> the, I watched, I was watching TV with my dad and a commercial for the exorcism came on. I didn't oh, even dude. see the movie, but it was the scene where her head spins around. And that night I had a dream that I was, um, on one of those, I don't know what you call them. It's not parasailing. It's like, uh, Little flyers that you like hold on to, and you can like fly through the air. Oh, yeah, I know what Whatever you're talking they're about. Called. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I was, I was on one, and my dad was flying next to me, and his head was turned over like this, like away from oh, me. And I was no. like, Dad, Dad, turns around, and it's the Exorcist girl's face. Oh, dude. And That's... just like one commercial, the 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 fear hits different when you're like a tiny little baby. Oh, yes, it does. It's oh, yeah. crazy because everything feels real. Yeah. For me, like for like uh, where my started going downhill hard was uh, child's play was was tough for me. Oh yeah, like for, like Chucky, that was tough. And then, but the one that really got me was Freddy Krueger. Ooh, because you, you like, that's when you felt safe. Like you know what, I'll just go to bed. I'll put the blanket over my head. Whatever, I'm a little scared. I can just go to sleep and I'll be fine. And then it's so brilliant as a horror creator to just go. Not that I am one for yeah. this guy that created it <laughs> to go. Well, let's attack the place where you feel safe, where you feel safest. And man, I had nightmare after nightmare on Elm Street yeah. about that. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's why they call it. Oh, oh my god! I I was really, when I was a kid, I wasn't afraid of any of that stuff because I was badass. <laughs> I was actually Vegeta, yeah. so it was yeah. fine. And then no. Preston went Super Saiyan three, so yeah. we were safe. I was actually really scared of the the. I feel like one of the movies that I can think of that really scared me was the original Ring. Uh, not ri- the Ring. The Ring. The, yeah. the yeah. American Ring. The first one. God, I think it was a Japanese movie first, but the 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 American one scared the yeah. Fuck Every out. time the phone rang, I was like, yeah. "What's happening?" Yeah, dude, uh, that was a scary one. Also, Scream, OG Scream. Oh, to this yeah. day, still, I think it's it wasn't actually that scared. I feel like it, it I got like it was more comical. Tr- uh, like intruder stuff scares me. Oh, okay. mm. Like where people can come into your house and just literally murder you. Yeah. Like it makes me think of like, oh, what are they called? Just strangers, dude. Yeah. That oh, movie. Yeah. I never saw that. So, I, so a lot of people give it Wait, crap. Wait, no, I did see it actually. And, and, I, and I understand because like it's kind of a, a slow burn for a while, but it, it once you get to that last scene, yeah, oh, mm-hmm. rough. Yeah, um, it's crazy. Speaking of movies, movie theaters just opened up recently. Yeah, over here, yeah. like we're finally. We keep saying finally mm-hmm. because like we see like everything's opening slowly. So I recently just went and saw some family. Uh, in Pennsylvania and a friend of mine was like dude New York is like way open and I went there and it's way not it's like they're not as open as we are right now in Los Angeles so like they're up until we got there they were everything was closed by 10 Mm p.m. and then like out here like bars are open again Um, movie theaters are open and but like movie theaters are open like where you can like you have to every time you buy a ticket it closes off a seat to your left or to your right Mm -hmm. so yeah we got to see like Mortal Kombat I, I wanted to do that really badly yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's been really wild weird. having things slowly open. It's I, been... I, I'm craving it. I mm. need that sense of normalcy just to like feel a little bit more sane again. Yeah, I think it's right around the corner for everybody. Yeah, it's feeling the vaccine. Good. It's like I, I, the vaccine's gonna do it. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be, it's gonna yeah. be great. I've been talking about um, like so we have we just announced uh, our rescheduled, rescheduled, rescheduled. Yeah, yeah. for March for the love of God. Amazing. <laughs> Tickets at setitupband.com. Let's go get them. I did the noise again. Um, but so immediately now I'm like, all right, light at the end of the tunnel, 2022, we're touring again. But my fear is that I'm just going to have to spend 2021 waiting. Yeah. And like, I'm trying to like make memories. I want to look back on 2021 and be like, good stuff happened. Mm -hmm. This thing happened. I got this bucket list Mm -hmm. thing done. And, uh, it's weird. Like I'm experiencing, um, like the CDC and, and, you know, the Los Angeles government, it's like, it's okay to do this and that. But I feel like I'm, one, I'm nervous, but also like, I feel like I'm doing something illegal. Like I when know. we went to the movie theater, I was like, I'm not supposed to be yeah, here. I'm going to hell. <laughs> so. Well, it's, it's, the, it's the social pressure of it all is a little bit of, a, of an obstacle because some people are more okay with certain ways and some people aren't. And I'm not even sure what's okay right now. I just try to navigate it and like whatever they're telling me I can do. I'm like. Uh, if I can, yeah, yeah and exactly. I'm following the rules. I think that's what you have to do. You have to listen to the actual CDC and what they exactly what, and what your official like governments are saying that you can do. Yeah, as long as, long as you're like, not like going to Dave and Buster's behind the scenes. Yeah, <laughs> and, 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 like I'm so tired of people like trying to tell you like medical advice or tell you about you know uh, things about coronavirus. That, yeah, that are or or, or 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 anything in general that they just don't have knowledge on. Yeah, when there is a place to go get the knowledge. Exactly. Like, why 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 are you making up or like why are you telling me when 
Uh, I don't know. It's just no. Uh, it, it, it's it, but that, that's the whole thing is everyone's experiencing this so differently. It's true. Different levels true. of anxiety. Different yeah. levels of of personal, just like honestly pain that we've yeah. gone through yeah. and we're all working it out differently. And it's kind of interesting to see how everyone's coming out of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's kind of great to be able to say that people are coming out of it right now. And yeah. obviously people have been through devastating situations regarding this, but so it's, it's really unfortunate for the people that have gone through that, but it's, we're really fortunate to be here today and to see things reopening and to we've witnessed history. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Full blown history. I've been taking photos of like really unique advertisements. Mm-hmm. I saw one uh, of a woman who was FaceTime resuming her her grandchild and says the first person I want to see after I get vaccinated and I was like I'll never see that again probably yeah. for the rest of my life. There was there was that weird time period at the beginning of the pandemic when like companies were like oh, they're yeah. like I want to be sensitive to what's going on but I also want to sell my napkins. So oh like, yeah, we're living in unprecedented times and we're with you. Yeah. Please buy Michelin tires. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was like now, now more than ever. Please, please buy our products. Yeah. <laughs> please. <laughs> and like, you're never going to see that again. Yeah. yeah. I got so tired of hearing the word unprecedented times. So like, <laughs> can I get some, can I get some precedented time, yeah. please? Yeah. Yeah. Just All- nice old school so precedent. So the unprecedented. Yeah. Let's get yeah. them precedented again. There were so many like buzzwords like that too. Like, like soar, rising. Oh, like, yeah. Dude, everything was supposed to be like, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, like oh. you're a rocket ship. Yeah. Like, everything's so intense right now. Yeah. I mean, I'm glad. Um, yeah. Yeah. But I mean, we have so much to look forward to, not just like with things opening up, but also like we're hitting the summer season and you know what has not slowed down? Video game production. Oh Oh. yeah. They've been cooking. And even movie productions are still like rolling Mm -hmm. out and I cannot, shows that I love are coming back. Resident Evil 8 is coming out next week. With the, with the big, the the big sexy lady. Big tall hot lady. Oh Big tall hot lady vampire. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's everyone, the whole internet has lost their mind over this character. Yeah. It's amazing. It. Oh my know. god. Oh, we have to show you. She's like yeah. show me the tall sexy. Tall. Can pull it up? Yeah, yeah show go me. And, pull, go and, up. and like honestly, uh I was just going to say uh we can like cut to these parts too if we want. So there's not like, You don't want you want to cut this out? Yeah, if there's no dead air, you know. You sure you don't want to All right, ready? <laughs> dead air. <laughs> right, here we go. Oh, it, it literally says va- Resident Evil Vampire Lady came up as a suggest. There she is. There there she is. This is her right here. How long is this one? Two minutes and 58 seconds. That's a perfect amount of time. All right, let's check it out. In a world. I thought that was in it. (laughs) In a world. Midnight moon rises on black wings. We await the light at the end. I think I just saw this one. (laughs) In life and in death. Show me her. Show me sexy vampire lady. Show me 10 foot tall vampire lady at once. The big, tall, hot lady vampire. Oh, not. We're almost there. Oh, boo. Boo. Who are you, boo? It's going to be first person again? Yeah, it's going to be like Resident Evil 7. And I think they kind of connect the stories a little bit. Dude, they're really milking this. They know what we want to see. Oh, yeah. They, they, They gave us the thumbnail. This is this ridiculous. May. This may. Oh, dude, my favorite song. Oh, Man, no. they do make it look like They're a movie, coming. though. Who is? What the hell was that? I cannot wait to play this game. I've never played any Stop of the Resident Evil. They're good. You've never played one of them? Never played them. Dude, honestly, you can start at RE7 if you want. Because it yeah. it's so different. And this is going to be more like that. Okay. You escaped my little brother's idiot game. There, there she is! is. Ooh, let's go! That's what we waited for? Let's see how special you are. Yep. Oh, big tall oh, sexy yeah. vampire lady. Yeah, but that's, she's taking the internet by storm. Oh, she truly big has. Big tall vampire lady. How have I never seen that? Uh, that's enough for now. No yeah. Yes. yeah. But dude, uh, that is a game that I am counting down the days until mm-hmm. it comes out. Yeah. I'm really excited for uh, the new Madden that's going to come out. I know. I hope they do something different. I know. They're going to do a lot different. They need to. They got destroyed. I know you guys don't really care about sports games, but it's says basically imagine a franchise of a game that you love. The entire community turned on it last year. Yeah. And now they are well, forced rightfully to just- so because they just basically have been pressing control C, control V for yeah. like <laughs> fucking 10 years now. So Zach and I are looking forward to being competitive with it again. Yeah. That'll I'm be fun. Be yeah. yeah. You know what I'm excited about what? when things start opening up again is uh so return of movie theaters. Return of going to see Marvel movies yes. and then going to see those movies with Zach. Oh, <laughs> oh yes. Oh, yeah. Because I'm not a big fan of them. There is. 
unpopular opinion. I, yeah. the, the, like I you've described care. it better than anyone, and I I love them. I love watching yeah, them. Too. But your explanation for why you don't like them is so funny to me. What, what? The, the like theme park rides or what? Well, that and also like, like the, the general about. like they can't go more than like two or three oh, minutes. Oh, the slapstick. The slapstick. Oh, there's so much like of, the finger guns jokes. Yeah, there's there is a finger guns joke in the Marvel movies. Explain like, a finger guns joke. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> so it's basically like a little, uh, like a little like uh, quip or like a, just something that uh, is supposed to make the audience laugh. That's like a ha ha knee slapper joke. Like for instance, there's like uh, a huge battle going on. And like Iron Man and Captain America are like are fighting aliens. It's been a while since I've seen the movie. <laughs> yeah. so I don't know. But they're fighting some sort of alien. Uh, that could be any of them. So uh, he's, but, but Captain America would be like, oh man, look, I almost, uh, I almost uh, hit that uh, alien so hard that I almost said shit or something. And then Captain Marvel's like, or Iron Man's like, oh, can't make that joke, can you? Like it's an after school special. Yeah. I don't know. I'm doing a terrible there job. Was, there, was one, there was this one. Mo- I don't remember what happened, but this is how I remember it in my mind. There's this big scene with Ultron. He's oh, like yeah. supposed to be like Im- immortal and he's he's falling out of a plane. He's about to fall. And I, it doesn't happen. But I remember him in my mind going, Mondays, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> falling I out of the that, sky. I think he actually says like, you gotta oh, be kidding oh, you've me. you've got to be kidding me. And it's like, dude, shut the fuck up. Like, <laughs> You're the most if, badass character ever, and that's the way you're going out. Just so the audience can go. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, when you see like 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 movies like that, superhero movies, is your yeah. ideal type of super- superhero movie more like Dark Knight, or it's like more realistic could happen, more in a dark darker tint, yeah, sort of and it's thing. Not, uh, I I just don't think of them as like fun. They're not like fun. Mm. They feel like they they, uh, they there's no like depth to them. There's no like characters like. I don't know. I don't. I also don't want to come. No depth I, into the Marvel stuff. Yeah, I also don't want to shit on anybody. Like, sure. Yeah. I, I like what you like, and that's totally fine. Oh, There's of course, a reason yeah. I've never publicly said I don't like Marvel. Or <laughs> yeah. Because you don't like to start the debate. Yeah, and I don't. I'm yeah. like, if somebody likes it, cool. Like, yeah, yeah. I'm not. I'm. There's no like. There's no like, oh, dude, I'm better. I, there's no like high. Yeah, you're not think, elitist at all. I think yeah. that's the reason that I like because it, it would be it would be a bummer if you went to go see a movie and someone was just shitting on it the whole time. The reason that I like watching them with you is because <laughs> I like it. But yeah. someone will make like a hey, hey joke and Zach will look over. Not say anything. He'll just look over and go. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> you know, they, they like ha- the they, thing I'm talking about just happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. they do it a lot in those movies. Dude, there's, the, they the they kind of ruin Rag- the, the tension. The Thor Ragnarok one, I couldn't even get through it. Like the first like. 10 minutes he's like huh you ever see the chicken fart <laughs> would you guys be interested like, sorry go ahead yeah that's fine would you guys be interested in like because there's that we saw this movie logan uh it was the what is happening? oh my oh, god oh, oh my god roomba is dying roomba would you like to say something restart <laughs> thank you roomba oh i'm glad that's happening again we're doing this for my apartment yeah um we saw this movie logan oh dude is it is it can i I, yeah. Can I open this door? Sure. Oh, yeah, sure. All right. I mean, we might get a lot of heat. It's but. it's a very popular movie. Yeah. But this is a movie that Max and Zach did not enjoy. I'm indifferent. I don't really care either way. Yeah. But there were some heated debates on tour. Oh, oh definitely. We about got- the movie. And I want to know if you'd be interested. Because I know one time, uh, at one point, we want to start bringing on guests. Yeah. yeah. If we bring someone on that's a friend of ours that's also a big fan of the movie, yeah, yeah, to have that debate, we should. We, I, I, I don't want to, but we would have to rewatch it. Yeah, and there's a chance that I might like <laughs> it. I've only seen Maybe. it once, to be yeah. fair. It's, yeah. It was it was the last of the X Men movies, right? It was yeah. the finale of finale. It's supposed to yeah. be. Yeah, it's supposed to be closing that chapter yeah. of X Men. Yeah, and they really, Man. really dropped the ball. They in my botched. Opinion. You know, what you just kind of made me think of is just how many good times we've had watching movies on tour. Well, it's like most of what we do. Yeah. That in escape rooms. Yeah. Yeah. Oh Incredible. yeah. That was literally one of my birthdays. That was one of my favorite birthdays ever. Is we were where? What state were we in? Know. Who it's, knows? Who, it, in the middle of the United States somewhere. It was a nice escape room. And yeah. it was it was great. It was my birthday, and we went to an escape room together. <laughs> what? We were I'm sorry to interrupt, but we were talking about we went go, we go to a lot of nice escape rooms. Yeah. Was one time we went to oh, a, yeah. oh, we went to one in a mall, and they just found a picture of a zombie on Google. It's one of the cling wrap ones. Yeah. <laughs> but it was like so pixelated yeah. and yeah. shitty. They yeah, blew up like, like a, they blew up like a. 
300 by 300 pixel image and then it was like so sh- all of the and then all of the clues were like really yeah. half at it's like yeah. most of it was laminated pieces of paper like, you could hear like mall stuff going on yeah it was so bad we uh, still escaped though we're actually we pretty good at escape that, so, I, we're a good team oh no that my story like i was it we just went i really appreciated it because you guys like let me have the kind of day that I love. Like yeah. We had an escape room and then we saw a movie. I think we played video games. Yep. It was perfect. I love escape rooms. I've liked I love them, them too. for a long time now. The one near here still hasn't opened yet and I'm yeah. pretty sure they're approved to open and I'm worried because now I live close to them oh, and I'm yeah. worried that they're shut down. Oh, yeah. that's not good. Yeah. As soon as they open though, we should. I would love to. We should yeah. go back. I would love I watched to. a whole like literal YouTube video on how to attack uh um, escape rooms and like have a successful rate. I'd be very interested in watching that video. Yeah. It's like 20 minutes long. You want to watch it on the podcast? Yeah. yeah let's, let's, you know what? We, let's let's finish Ma- up the podcast it's, with that. I let's know, watch that, other people's content. It's, it's by Mark <laughs> Rober. Look it, like, up. look it up though. Just I'll at least look it up just so I can like, save it for mm-hmm. myself. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think, I mean, I think we've talked about this on the podcast before, but the idea, there, there's a, a notion that if you're in a band, you live a consistently crazy life. Like there's all this illegal <laughs> stuff going on and like, most of what we do is we go to a mall, we go to a movie, mm-hmm. and we go to an escape room. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. We you love all, a good... You just realize? What? We haven't talked about it still, because we've just been wigging this whole thing. What? This podcast comes out on May 4th. Oh, Star Wars. yeah. May the 4th. Oh, May the 4th. You should have started started the podcast with Star Wars uh, music. Bum, 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 Wait, uh, will we get in trouble for that? No. Make up... Oh. Do the Darth Vader theme song, but choose different notes. Oh, that's good. Um... <laughs> I don't know if I know the Darth Vader theme song. Boom, boom. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, bam, bam, <laughs> bam, 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 I'm pretty sure it's the same That's song. The notes, yeah. <laughs> Dude. You're too close. You're too close. Right now. Right now. Mickey Mouse is on <laughs> yeah, his way here. Yeah, I'm going like, to YMCA them so good. <laughs> I'm about to get a big payday. <laughs> oh my god! What, what, Were you guys big Star Wars fans? How do you do different notes? I would like boom, boom, ba, 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 ba. Oh, like do it shitty. No, you just, yeah, do it like well. It's the same rhythm. You just oh. choose different notes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like a ghost. <laughs> You're like Darth Vader's mom. <laughs> Oh yeah, you never call. Room. You never call Darth Mother. <laughs> How come you never call me anymore? Huh? Why don't you use the force to come over to my house? I my gutters yeah. need to be hey, clean. Hey, Mrs. Vader, how you doing? It's been forever. <laughs> May the force be with you and whatnot. Eh? Come on. Did, did you make your famous Sith cake like we all enjoy? I'm lightsabing over here. <laughs> what are you talking about? Leave me alone. Oh, come <laughs> on. You're making my midichlorians act up. <laughs> Maclorians? Midichlorians. What is that? That's the stuff that the force is made up of. <laughs> really? Yeah, it was the th- they put it in like the prequels and everyone was like, hey, this is bad. Stop telling us <laughs> really? about the science of oh, the force. That's so yeah. funny. I didn't realize yeah. that you actually like I thought you were making up a word on the spot. It does sound made up. Oh, it is. no. That's oh, all, Are we going to talk about the thing that we said that we were going to talk oh, about? Oh, yeah. Are we going to do it? So normally when when Set It Off or any band or any artist is about to like release or do anything, and I don't know why this is the case, but there always has to be like a week of weird cryptic videos uh-huh. and like a tomorrow that shows up. Yeah, yeah, And we've been talking about like- I feel like it's like, that's antiquated now. Yeah. It's like- not the norm to do anymore. You know what? You, you know what we should be doing instead is is making our own cryptic thing live. Oh, like right oh, now on the yeah. podcast because we do have set it off stuff coming out. I'm not going to say when because we're cryptic stuff. Oh, yeah. we should do it right now. Here we go. About to happen. Wait, should we? Let's do it, and then I will say exactly what to expect. Perfect. Okay. All right. Here we cool. go. <laughs> 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 the end of an era. Uh, <laughs> transition. Go. <laughs> Are you goofy over the horse? <laughs> it just comes in. <laughs> We've partnered with Disney for a new- <laughs> they're, they're probably listening like shut up shut up and tell me <laughs> that sounds like every Kingdom Hearts like trailer <laughs> and then pan out yeah, and, and then- it's us we're, we're sitting inside of a broken hourglass yeah. and, and they're yeah. and then and then it's, we're like it's, it's, it's so dark it must be midnight, midnight the final chapter <laughs> so expect an acoustic version of Killer in the Mirror coming yeah. your way very soon amongst 
other things. Yeah, other things are coming after that. Yes. And but should we say what day? Yeah, Go fuck ahead. it. The, the, uh, well, it'll be this Friday, so it'll be the seventh. Yeah. This the seventh. Friday. That's yeah. soon. You're going to get a reimagined version of Killer in the Mirror, an acoustic version, and it's really dope because Killer in the Mirror is uh, is inherently such an angry song, yeah. and it takes that that perspective and that pain and morphs it into a more somber mm-hmm. tone. Um, so. You know, now that we've we've entered the end of of midnight, this crazy. will be the final chapter. I want. I was wondering what you guys think is the most underrated song on midnight That's so hard we should we could have a whole episode about this I yeah feel like. let's go around what what is your most underrated song i think i know but yeah, i'm not I, sure i mean i know max's i feel like right off the bat oh what is it for you forever. forever yeah although i will say that i i think uh want you gone deserved yeah, that's what, way that's more good, love good, 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 first of all the, the contrast. It sounds like, well, the first time I heard it, I immediately thought of like Full House. Right? Yeah. The intro kind of like, is like this fun time. Everything is good. And the lyrics are literally like, I never want you in my life again. So the contrast of that is incredible. And sax solo. You like, know what? This is a great time to talk about that because when we were talking about transitioning from upside down into midnight, well, the one thing that I realized is how, how important it is for me to just be able to vent my anxiety, stress, anger, all that stuff. And we realized that's something that people that listen to Set It Off really gravitate towards. So we were able to have happy sounding songs, but have really negative lyrics. Yeah. And I'm really happy about that sort of like cocktail and how that like what it does. I yeah. agree. I think that song is, is severely underrated. I think both of those would be my pick too. Mm-hmm. I, I loved For You Forever. We played it live and that's that's fun to play. It slaps. So yeah. The chorus is like it's it's like a real feel good chorus. It's Isn't one it? of the hardest songs to sing, actually. Really? Because it's yeah. very constant. And then by the bridge, it's like, does he care about oh, yeah. yeah, it's just all in there. It but, was the first one. Oh, sorry, before we leave for oh, yeah, you forever. Yeah. It was the I think it's the first time we've ever delved into what kind of sounded like retro wavy or like yes. synth wavy. So it imagines like I feel like I'm in like the year three thousand driving a fancy car. You know what it feels like? It feels like wants like older sibling. Yes. Yes. That's what it feels like. Which also is underrated. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. What is yours? I honestly think it would be those two as well. Those two. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I've been all over the place. I said, obviously, like the song, and I have to say, Unopened Windows holds like a dear place in my heart for obvious reasons, but Mm -hmm. it's not my favorite song on the album. I think at first when it came out, it was different songs. Yeah. I think Different Songs is one of the strongest songs on the record, in my opinion. Which, but. by the way, created some drama initially. Really? Like, people heard it and thought that we were breaking up. Really? <laughs> well, the, if you listen to the lyrics. Oh, you're right. It sounds like it's about It's What's us. funny is yeah. it's about a relationship I was in when I was like. No, re- it's not. It's not? It's about us. Yeah. It's about us. We're breaking up. The announcement up. is that we're breaking up. We're so. confronting Ooh, you. Ooh, cryptic video. We end the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> that would be, that's the worst thing a band could do to make a cryptic video hyping something up and oh, being like, and we broke up. up. Just yeah. kidding. Nothing's coming your way. Yeah, <laughs> Ever again. It's all, it's all super cryptic and it's like really high production value. It's like, looks so fucking good. And then yeah. the last one is like an off angle iPhone <laughs> video and it's just the band going, yep, yeah, we're done. <laughs> And dun, 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 yeah. dun, we're done. <laughs> One of them farts. <laughs> dun, 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 we're done. done. <laughs> never plays a show again. Yeah, yeah. Never yeah. tweets. Never Fucking posts on Instagram on TikTok. Off, flips off the camera and like, Shh. <laughs> what a way to go! <laughs> wow, <laughs> that's hilarious. Yeah. Um, I but I think I've zeroed in. It's got to be happy all the time oh, for me. So good, happy all the time. Cause I, I mean, but there's so many reasons. I genuinely like the song. It's one of the only songs that like my mom listens to all the time. I know that means a lot to me. Just like she yeah. listens. Uh, don't let me reword that. She likes uh, like all of our songs, but like that's a song that she'll listen to, to help her through a rough day, which I think is cool. And I, I'm proud of the message of it. I, th- how it came together, the choir that was involved, the experience of seeing them perform that live Compton kids club shout out. Um, it was just another worldly experience and I can mm-hmm. constantly, I have a bad memory and I can, without a doubt, always transport myself to that moment because of how much it impacted me. Yeah. yeah. So that is very much my, my favorite song on the record. Side note, I love going to Florida and playing shows. First of all, your family is so kind. They're Aww, so nice. Thank but you. your mom is like one of the most wholesome people I've ever met. <laughs> yeah. And it is so funny <laughs> to watch her side stage watch her son sing hypnotized yeah. and be like, go fuck yourself. I yeah. hate you. Like just cursing up a storm. That's really funny. That, all that. And your mom's just like, I love this dude. Yeah. Oh dude, I have a deal with my mom and it's every time I play a show and she's there, yeah. I have to dial back the cuss words. No oh, way. Yeah. Oh my God. I have I to try that. hard. Yeah. Well, you know, 
keeping a sense of yeah, you know, yeah. mother and mother and son. Exactly. But I just sense. love it. It's just so yeah. like, dude, it's so funny to see parents in band environments. You know, yep. like how di- how different those. Oh yeah, are. yeah. Like having your parents at the show is like you're you're. I wouldn't say you're, you're not like putting on a mask, but you're like definitely like. <laughs> Yeah. Uh-huh. This is what I do. Yeah. I swear it's successful. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and but like that, like I remember, and we did Orlando one time, and your dad came, and it was wild, dude. We had so yeah. many people on. We had because you know we're from Florida originally, yeah. so there's so many people came to visit us. All of our hometown friends came. And we're all crammed on our little bandwagon. And fucking <laughs> Max's dad is just sitting in between two like like younger du- younger guys, younger friends of ours. Yeah, who and, I like, didn't know. I didn't even know. Yeah, yeah. yeah he doesn't even know. Might have been the guy that pooped on our bandwagon. <laughs> I think it was. I think it was. <laughs> it was it really? Been. I was kidding. Was it really? It, oh my was. god. He might have been there for sure. And but yeah, they were like smoking weed at one point. Yeah. Like, and like <laughs> passing it, passing it over your dad's head. <laughs> like, and your dad's like. <laughs> yeah, he's just this is crazy. Yeah. He's like, he's like, I know how it is. It is, yeah. it is so strange in that, like, you get so used to the chaos that is tour. Yeah. There's always something going on. It's oh madness. So when you have someone and they, they, they're like not used to that element. Yeah, you feel like you have to like lead them through that yes. world. And you're balancing because you're so basically when you're on that bandwagon, that's your home. Yeah. And we're, I think we're really good hosts. Yeah. yeah. We always make sure we're stocked with drinks with the friends that want to drink. And obviously we got friends that smoke. We make sure everyone's taken care of. But yeah. then the hard part is when you know it's a busy day mm-hmm. and you have like a close friend oh, that you want to have conversations with yeah. or your, or your parents are coming mm-hmm. into town and everyone wants to hang. And then you, I, at least this is something I deal with yeah. personally where I'm like, I need to make sure I'm giving my friend enough time, but also my guests enough time so that they know that yeah. I'm not just a dick. So that yeah. Then walk walk away yeah. being like he fucking changed, and then it's it's <laughs> such all, a stupid friends with some weird cowboy. <laughs> yeah. hey, hey man, I remember Cody back in the day. Man, and he was a good guy. No longer. <laughs> I, I think the other thing that's really weird and takes some getting used to is like our living room is our bedroom. Yeah, it's yeah. all one thing, on tour, right? Yeah. And oh, so yeah. like I will sleep in one day. And then I will wake up like no pants on, literally just rolled out of bed. Yeah. And like someone's entire extended family is there. Yeah. And they're in my underwear like, do you need a water? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming. Yeah. Oh, my God. It's definitely happened a bunch of yeah. times. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, how long have we been going? Oh, we've been going for about 46 minutes. Wow. So far. Yeah, we're making some moves. That's but dope. If I, we had an ad, that'd be great right now. But we don't. So. We don't. <laughs> <laughs> we literally don't. I, I know that. You know what's funny is we might. This might be the episode we do add the ad though. Oh really? We might be. Is there an ad? They'll oh. know if there's an ad. <laughs> put it right there. Presenting. Bleh, yeah. You can get it at a store near you. Oh no! All we have to do is just open our mouths for three minutes, like it's the. <laughs> We're just dubbing over. Why don't correctly. we just? Why don't we just make room for whatever the name is? To we'll be like, are you tired of pooping? Then you should try not pooping. Ex- this use the promo code. I pooped <laughs> at www. I'm five slash. Wow, we're making this joke still. Dot com. <laughs> <laughs> there's a there's a dot com after this. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> slash this dot com. Oh my yep. god. That's funny. Dude, you know what you made me think of? This is a real thing that happened. We were playing a show in LA and we had so many friends and, and guests in and the great, it's, you don't get to choose the size of your green room. I think a lot of people think green room sizes are massive yeah. every day. Yeah. No, they are not. No, they're not. We played no. a show. No, definitely not. There was no AC and it was a about the size of like an average, what felt like just a bathroom. Um, it was, you know, we we're at, I think it was the Roxy. Oh my yeah, god! Yeah. yeah, we were upstairs. Yeah. There was that. There was no AC. Heat was rising. Mm-hmm. the The people that were working there were being incredibly rude to our guests. Yeah. Um. And so we were already heated because we had to go down and get everyone in, and then we got them in, and then all the drinks we got them were now gone. And then on top of that, it's body to body, shoulder to shoulder. Everyone trying to talk. We can't talk. We want to yeah. get ready for the show. Yeah. I had to go into our bathroom. Yeah. And turn on cold water. So that I could not be a dying and b be able to warm up for the yeah, show. Yeah, there is a weird thing, especially with like Los Angeles shows, because that that green room, if it was just us, would have been fine. Yeah. The issue is, is people come out of the woodwork that I don't know. Yeah. And you're like suddenly they're filled up your green because it's cool to be in the green room yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. But I'm like, hey man, I actually this is where my stuff is. Yeah. So you're surrounded by strangers that you don't know, and yeah. you're like, I just want to be exactly alone for a That's second. That's why I love. So. 
I love when we end up in a city and we're like, I don't really know anybody here. No guest list? <laughs> yeah. No guest list? We have no guest list? This is amazing. Oh my God. Let's go to a library. Oh. <laughs> Dude, I will say, yeah, silence in, in the bandwagon. Oh, yeah. I will, I will get up early. And like I, I love cleaning the bandwagon, the yeah. bus for some reason. So Appreciate then I just, that. I sit down, I let a candle, and just sit down in silence. Yeah. Oh my god, it's the best. It's the little things, man. Mm-hmm. It's the little things. It really is. Can't nice. wait to do it again. I Soon. can't wait, man. Soon we're gonna giggle. Oh my, we're gonna have some ha ha's. And, and what's and funny is we're gonna try to do the podcast on tour. So we're gonna say so much in the podcast, and we're gonna walk by each other like. What's up, dude? Yeah. <laughs> We're going to have nothing to talk about. Yeah. I definitely think that the podcast on tour would be a lot of fun. It would be a lot of fun. Especially if we could have guests that are uh, on the tour. On the tour. Yeah, that's like, such a good idea. That's a great idea. Bring guests on and then. <gasps> what if. Yeah. This is just spitballing. Here. What? What if we did like, uh, you know how they always have someone who's like on the street asking people stuff? Yeah. yeah. We hit the line. We yeah. could do and that. We, oh my god, it, that's completely possible because if we do it like on a phone, whatever's yeah. recording the audio, I'll just throw the audio in here, and it'll be part of the video. I could throw the video in here. Wow. It's a fun idea. We should definitely try it. And one of us should do it one day, dressed up in a really funny, like fake disguise. Yeah, we have to get like, like the worst that. disguise. And it yeah. says possible. not in set it off. Yeah, yeah. we'll oh, make dude, a whole character. <laughs> He's got to have a whole different name. Yeah, yeah. it's gonna be amazing. John Johnson. He's, John yeah. Johnson. <laughs> John Johnson, our street reporter. Yeah. Now John we'll Johnson from, to John Johnson from the Johnson reporter. and Johnson reporting group. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, just, it's Johnald. just Johnald John Johnson. Johnald Johnson. Johnald Johnson's the name. Johnald. Johnald. Oh, it's my favorite thing ever. Yeah, yeah. we should do that. There's a I lot of different it. things we can do. I'm yeah, really so excited. if you if you're here for this and you know that we're Johnald, mind your business. You just don't. so you know, by the way, because we want this to be as exciting as possible every time we do an episode for you, there'll be times where we're together and we'll be talking and we'll be like, oh, save it for the podcast, yeah. save for oh, the yeah, podcast, yeah. save for the podcast. Which is also funny because we're still like figuring the whole like this. The last four episodes, we've had a whole ass list yeah. in front of us, mm-hmm. and we hit bullet points. We were doing, it. and this one, it's literally just on the whim, and I'm liking it. I, I do like it because this is it's more good. us. Hey, it's, good. it's good. Obviously, like we don't like. Sometimes we'll find ourselves like, oh, oh and then that thing, and yeah, that's yeah, yeah. that's how we operate, mm-hmm. and that's how it's always worked for Leave us. Leave in the comments if you think I agree that you like the flow of this episode more, or if you like the flow of the previous ones more. Yeah. It doesn't really matter because we're gonna do whatever we want I, anyway. I want you to go back and watch the previous episodes go back mm-hmm. to this and create a pros and cons list Please. and i'm not kidding yeah. i would love to see it in the comments a pros and cons <laughs> list? Dude, not, no, why I'm are we not... giving them homework like... no i only said that because i know that one person in there is going to do that do it? uh, and it's going to be very it's going to get top comment yeah. if you yeah. want top comment <laughs> pros and cons list. i will say and i don't think we figured this out yet we're professional podcasters yeah but there is a way to do like call-ins in a way where you can yeah. somehow leave us a message and I know we can... An, I know an easy, easy way to do it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we can basically leave like a... Also in the comments if you want to help. Yeah. We can leave uh, like a Google... We can make like a Google voice. A number. Google Because we made a YouTube video a while ago where people yeah. left us voicemails. Yeah. And then we listened to them uh, and made a whole YouTube video about it. Uh, so we can do that for the podcast. It's just... Ale- <laughs> Alexa... What are you doing? Alexa, can you tell the thing to sh- shut up, please? Um, it's so funny because it's a reminder for me to stop eating. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I'm trying to do intermittent fasting. I thought it was scolding you. It said no more food for tonight. That's what like, I wrote. I dude, wrote you for said to too say many that. curse words. Your mom just texted you. <laughs> Uh, no, I'm trying to intermittent fasting, and I love that that's on here now. It's like, reminder, no more food for the rest of the night. <laughs> what was I saying? I don't we were talking about your oh, Goog voice. Yeah, using the Goog voice. Your little Goog voice. To oh, get yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Goog. We can make a Google voice like account, and they can leave voicemails on there, and we can mm. uh, listen to those on the podcast. Yeah, I like that idea. And yeah. then like, if there's questions that you want to ask or things you've always wondered about the band... Throw them in, and then if we have time, we can answer them on the podcast. Yeah. And we're talking about debating a little bit. Yes, please. Oh, Leave us yeah. in the comments things you want us to debate about, because mm-hmm. we would like to include you on this debate. Uh, set it off things to debate about. Though. Set it Not off things like to debate about. Life in general. I yeah. mean, I'm down for what to hear whatever, but I'm down about yeah. set it off mm-hmm. stuff as well. I will it's say, and, and this yeah. is going to sound picky, but this is like, if you're going to ask a question... And you can find it on Wikipedia, on Set It Off's Wikipedia. Yes. Yeah. Maybe don't ask the question. Two things. If you want to be on the podcast with your question, make it short, make it concise. Make sure it's not, how did you get your band name? Yeah. That's basically it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, you'll be th- fine. Uh, Calm before the storm, fall out, boy. We did done. Yeah. We did it. We answered <laughs> it's it. It's over. It's over. <laughs> oh, right. man. That was fun. I think it's time that we wrap it up. Yeah, let's wrap this one up. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think in the future, we should do this again. <laughs> I would think, you, you know think what? we should get together next week? 
next week. Next week? Yeah. So I thank like you guys it. so much for being a part of the podcast. And don't forget, we have an acoustic version of Killer in the Mirror yes. on our deluxe edition, Midnight to Final Chapter. 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 <laughs> Coming your way this Friday. It's the end of midnight. Cannot wait. Ba, 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 Sing us out, Zach. Ba, 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 oh, thank you, everybody, for ba, 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 being a part of the podcast. We have been. Wait, I did it wrong. No. Ba, ba, oh, no, no. Oh, thank you guys so much for being a part of the podcast. My name is Cody. Max. Zach. And you're listening to the Talk It Off Podcast. End it. End it. Just please end it. <laughs>